Hello everyone, James Swanick here. This is day three of the five-day alcohol challenge. Today we're going to be talking about how much your drinking is actually costing you. It's not just the money that you spend on alcohol, it's the money that you're not generating because you're drinking alcohol, because you're operating at a four or a five out of ten. Most people will tell me that they probably spend about three or four thousand dollars a year on alcohol. That's modestly, that's a modest account. All right, three or four thousand dollars, no big deal. You spend that. Eh, Maybe it's shocking to you, maybe it's not. But it's nothing, it pales in comparison to how much income and revenue you are leaving on the table because you are not stepping into your power of being a great leader, of being focused and having clarity and strategy and being happy. If we're just going to equate this to money, guess what? All of the studies show us that the happiest people generate more money. You don't generate more money and then you become happy. The happiest people generate more money. And I, and I know it's not just about money. It's not about money. This is not just how do we make more money. It's about connection. It's about family relationships. It's about uh, sleeping great, being healthy. It's about stopping the aging process or at least slowing it down. Because a lot of you have shared with me that you're in your 50s, 40s, 50s, and 60s, and you look in the mirror and you go, wow, I'm getting old. Well, guess what? You don't have to look as old if you just eliminate the attractively packaged poison and live a life of alcohol freedom because that alcohol is just, you're just pouring toxins down your throat and it shows up in your face, in your skin, in your eyes, and in your performance. Okay, grab a pen and paper. We're going to do a mathematics equation right now. I'm going to share my screen and let's do this. So I'm going to share my whiteboard and uh, let's do this. Okay, so what I want you to do is I want you to write down a number here, okay? Okay. On a scale of one to 10, with your drinking habits being the way they are, I want you to write down how productive, how effective, how good do you feel? So imagine you're drinking consistently, regularly. On a scale of one to 10, how would you rate your performance in your business or in your job or in your life? So write that number down and then also type it in the chat so I can read out some of these. If you're willing for me to read it out live, can you type it in the chat there for me? Because I would love to, I would love to uh, see that and see what some of the scores are. So how do you rate your job performance or your work performance or your business performance on a scale of 1 to 10? How do you judge your overall happiness performance, scale of 1 to 10 with your drinking habits the way they are? Let's have a look here. We've got some... Uh, We've got some answers that are coming in. Where is it? Here we go. There we go. So we've got a three. We've got a six. We have a three. We have a four. Okay. So this isn't good. We've got a two. We've got a five, a six, five, four, three, three, six, two, three, four, five, six, 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 five, two, four, five, seven. Someone's in a seven. That's good. <laughs> Two, four, six, five, five, six, five, three, five, six, seven. Wow. Is anyone here above a seven? Is anyone here an eight? Is anyone an eight or above? Someone share that with me. No, nobody here is saying that they're an eight. That's amazing. So everyone is, the highest we got was a seven, and most people seem to be a five or a six. Uh, Okay. Thank you for sharing that. Now what I want you to do is, I want you to write down how much, now if you have a business, okay, let's say if you have a business, if you're a business owner and you're an entrepreneur, I want you to write down how much revenue your business generates in a year on average with your drinking habits the way you are, okay? So so the first number you should have put down was say you were six out of 10, okay? So this is an example. The average was a six out of 10, okay? Then I want you to write down how much, revenue in your business do you generate currently and if you're in a job how much money do you make what's your salary what's your what's your excuse me what's your salary what's your income per year who'd like to share uh, i won't read out your name but why don't you give me some numbers in here some folks um post in the chat if you will how much money your business generates or how much money your job generates. Just type it in there. I won't reveal your name to other people. 
no one knows who you are anyway, but I'll just read it out. So we've got a few, a few um, things coming up here. So we have uh, $180,000. Is that in a business or is that as a, uh, is that in a job? So when you type the number down, can you just type in the number and whether it's, a, whether it, you're in a job or you own the business, that would be great. Uh, someone says here $350,000. Okay, great. Uh, we've got uh, 500,000 pounds, business owner, $165,000 general manager. We have $2.2 million business owner. We have $400,000 uh, sales uh, plus commission, base salary plus commission. We've got $250,000 there. Um, Mary, you just posted that to panelists and attendees. So thank you, 250K in the business. Uh, we've got $190,000 as a base commission. Uh, sorry, as a base plus commission. We've got $400,000 in a business, $250,000 in a business. We've got $1.7 million in the business. We've got $65,000. Okay, we've got good. Okay, thank you. Thank you for sharing that. So let's go back to the whiteboard here again on the screen. So now what I want you to do, so let's just say here we had an average uh, of six out of 10 and you're making, let's say, $340,000 per year in your business. Let's actually make it an even number. Let's just say 300,000, okay? Now what I want you to do is underneath that number, I want you to imagine if you were alcohol-free, if you were consistently alcohol-free and you had clarity and focus and energy and you were sleeping well, and you made an extra phone call, or you did a better deal, or you closed higher deals, or you and you worked less, but you made more, and you were just feeling really, really good, because that's how you feel when you're alcohol free. On a scale of one to 10, how do you think, what do you think your performance would be? Would it be an eight out of 10? Or would it be a nine out of 10 or a seven out of 10? Just write down that number for me, okay? If you were consistently alcohol free, Consistently alcohol-free, how productive, efficient, fantastic would you feel on a scale of 1 to 10? Type in some of the answers now. I want to read some of them out really quickly. Type in the chat for me. should be typing it out on a piece of paper and also typing it in the chat. How would you feel? I would love to get your thing. Uh, thank you. We've got a 10 out of 10 has come in. We've got a 9 out of 10. We've got an 8 out of 10, a 7, a 6. James has come in with a 9 out of 10. Mary says a 10 out of 10. Ben says an 8 out of 10. We've got Christy says a 7.5 out of 10. John says a 10 out of 10. Who else? Type it in. Okay. Let's now go back to the Karen said a 9 out of 10. Thanks, Karen. Let's share the screen again here. Here we go. So how much money do you think you would generate in your business or in your job, if you are operating now at that level that you just typed in. So in this example, this person makes $300,000 at a six out of 10, but if they're an eight out of 10, how much money do you think they might make in their business? This person might say, well, oh, I don't know, probably make 400,000. Okay, so type in the number, how much money would you make, could you generate if you were firing on all cylinders? How much money could you generate? Okay, so has everyone got that number down? So if you've done this, um, if I've communicated this to, this to you effectively, you should have uh, a rating out of 10 as to how effective you are as you're drinking and how much money you make. And then another rating of yourself if you were consistently alcohol free and how much money you would make. Okay, now what I want you to do, okay, now what I want you to do is I want you to subtract that second number. Okay, I want you to start with the second number and subtract the first number. Okay. And in this example here, where I was referencing the person who says that he or she could move from $300,000 to $400,000 a year, his or her drinking is costing him or her $100,000 a year in income or revenue that that person does not generate. 
Now, I want you to add just the final equation. I want you to add how much money do you think you're spending on alcohol per year? How much money do you think you actually spend on alcohol? Figure it out. Figure out how much money you spend buying alcohol, multiply it by 12. How much money? Most people say it's probably about $4,000. Okay. Could be $5,000, $10,000, $20,000. And now if we add up this grand total in this example here, this person's drinking is costing them $104,000 a year. So their alcohol lost income calculator score, ALIC, is $104,000 a year in this example. That's how much in this example their drinking habits are costing them. So I would love to hear from some of you guys, how much, what is your number? What is your alcohol lost income calculator number, your ALIC? What's the number? Post that number in. How much is your drinking costing you per year? Did you do the, did you do the math equation? Type it in and put it down for me there. $180,000 it's costing Robert. Thank you, Robert. So $180,000 a year. Nobody knows uh, your last name, Robert. It's okay. Um, they only, can, they only know that I'm calling out someone by the name of Robert. So let's do this, $180,000. I'm going to do a math equation right here. Divided by 365 is you're actually investing $493 a day to continue to drink alcohol. How does that feel? How does that sit with you? Who else would like to share? What was your alcohol lost income number? Type it in. Throw it down in the uh, throw it down in the in the chat here. Forty thousand dollars I'm seeing here. Thank you. Eighty thousand dollars per year. Wow. One million dollars per year. Yeah. Let me tell you something. When I quit alcohol, I generated millions and millions and millions of dollars in revenue and sales revenue from my businesses. When I was drinking, I didn't start businesses. When I was alcohol free and clear, I focused. I learned things. I made things happen. Melanie says $72,000. Thank you for sharing. So if we look at this, $72,000 divided by 365 is $197 a day is what your drinking habits are costing you, Melanie. $197 a day. This is not to pick on anyone, but I kind of I call, call this a dumb tax. It's a dumb tax. Because you're slaving away in your business trying to make money, but you're not generating income that you could generate because you're having a glass of attractively packaged poison each night. Because you're not focused, because you're 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 all over the place. Is this making sense? Now imagine this over the course of five years. Let's just say you do nothing about your drinking habits over the over the course of the next five years. Let's say you do nothing. To use um Robert's example of $180,000, that's $180,000 times five years equals $900,000 is what it's going to cost you by the age, by 2027. Would you like an extra $900,000 by 2027? I know I would. What are some of your, your businesses here? Actually, you know what? Is anyone here a realtor? Anyone here in real estate or anyone here work in sales? I'm going to play a quick video. I'm going to show you. Uh, a, a few realtors who went through my Project 90 program and how much money they generated for themselves and how their lives improved when they quit drinking, just to show you the power of this. Uh, so let me just share my screen. Here we go. Check this out. Listen to these folks. Higher quality clients. Uh, easily a quarter million dollars at a minimum. I've increased my income about 15%. Hi, I am Jessica Gaines Jarbo, and I am one year alcohol free today. I'm a real estate broker. All I did was work. I worked constantly and I was exhausted. I would drink to calm down. I would take stimulants and drink a bunch of coffee to get through the day. And I was just surviving rather than thriving. It keeps getting easier and easier. I don't feel like I have to push. I don't have to work so hard. This like feeling before of desperation, like I just had 
had to take every client and it doesn't feel that way anymore. I can more deeply enjoy every interaction and have higher quality clients. Hi, my name is Tim and I'm 118 days alcohol free. I uh, run my own business. I specialize in helping commercial real estate investors with loans to acquire income-producing property. And with that comes a lot of cocktail hours. I probably drank a lot more during work partaking in those happy hours, and it was just getting a little much. I was irritable the next day. I probably had missed opportunities with the prospects trying to turn them to clients. And, you know, hangovers don't allow a lot of time to think. And so without that clarity, I just, I, I missed out on probably a good chunk of revenue. What do you estimate your drinking was costing you and lost opportunities? Easily a quarter million dollars at a minimum. I joined Project 90 towards the end of the year, and I'm set this year to hit what I made last year in only three short months. And I have to attribute that to alcohol free in this group. Hi, I'm Susie. And I'm 108 days alcohol-free today. I'm a real estate agent outside of the Nashville, Tennessee area. Almost every event or get-together, alcohol or wine was available. So you just grab a glass just without even thinking. So it was just kind of weighing me down without me almost realizing it. I think with the alcohol, it was just easy maybe to use it, the sluggishness as an excuse. And now I'm able to show up, be present, and be 100% there rather than, you know, being hungover and only 50 or 70 percent there i've started having more trust and confidence in myself since going alcohol free i've been able to increase my pay about 15 percent and then you know i've generated about 20 to 25 percent more prospects within that 90 day period and i uh, expect to you know close on those within the next 30 to 60 days my overall performance it's just gone from a maybe five or six out of ten to about a nine out of ten So, what was your score? How much is drinking costing you per year? Uh, just type it in there in the chat, and I'll read out a few of them. And uh, and let's see. It's pretty remarkable when you actually do the math. It's actually kind of nasty, isn't it? <laughs> it's kind of shocking when you see that, and you go, "Wow, I'm leaving all that potential money on the table." Um, here we go, we've got $225,000, we've got $75,000, we've got $400,000 per year, wow. We've got uh, $82,000, we've got $45,000, we've got $90,000, we've got $110,000, we've got 400,000 pounds, that must be Brit, we've got uh, $65,000, yeah. So you can see here how uh, devastating it can be financially for you if you are simply staying on the path of, of, of quitting drinking. Um, who here uh, is a business owner? Who here is a business owner? If you're an entrepreneur or a business owner, can you just put your hand up or, or type in me in the chat here? Yeah, a lot. Okay. Business owner, me, 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 yep, yes, yep. Karen says, yep. Okay, a lot of people, business owners. So uh, Robert says, has yes. Mary says, me, an artist, yep. Okay, great. Lots of people. You have the power to create your financial life, but you have the power to be clear to make good choices, to hire the right people, to fire the wrong people, to uh, pivot in your business, to create another revenue stream, to either get more clients or to have less clients but better clients, less clients, higher paying clients, to inspire your staff. And if you are operating at what many of you shared with me that you are operating at, which was a four or a five out of ten, you're leaving not just money on the table, but you're leading other people's lives on the table. Because think of all the people who benefit from your products or your services who don't get to experience your products or services because you're choosing to have a couple of glasses of wine each night or to drink beer and to sleep poorly and to be lethargic. So you have an incredible opportunity, and I always get passionate about this, 
You have an incredible opportunity here, not just to transform your business, but think of all the people who benefit from you transforming your business, your husband or your wife or your partner, your kids. If you're happier because the business is doing better, then you're less irritable and you're less stressed, which means you get to sleep better, which means you are more connected to your partner, which means your clients and your uh uh, customers get to benefit from your products or your services, whatever they are. It has this beautiful, beautiful spin-off effect. In fact, I just got a WhatsApp message this morning from um, a former client of mine who now does a few interviews for me. Um, he interviews client um, Project Ninety clients who who graduate, and we put them on the um, on the uh, uh, podcast. Let me just let me just show you here. I'll just show you, and I'm going to play the play the, uh, the little message that he left for me today. Let me just, where am I doing here? One second. I'm technically challenged at times. So just give me one second. Here we go. I'm going to share the screen. So this is the podcast. If you, uh, It's the Alcohol Free Lifestyle podcast. And I do a combination of uh, little episodes to help you and also really inspiring stories of people who have graduated our Project 90 program and who share about all the financial benefits they've had and the health benefits. Uh, here's Tommy, and he's a 37-year-old, created a stronger marriage. Here's Doug Rice, who said he's, he's an entrepreneur. He said he had his best productivity in 32 years, plus he lost 21 pounds. Um, Roseanne is a retiree in her 60s over in, uh, is it Yukon, Arizona, I think? Uh, completely transformed her life, so much more confident. So if you've got time, it's worth going and checking that out. But uh, I just wanted to share with you in the WhatsApp, let me just go here. This was the message that my friend sent to me today. You can have a listen. Hey, James, I did the interview today with Gaylene. Actually, just a heads up, it's probably, you probably hear him swear a little bit here. So, Hey, James, I did the interview today with Gaylene and I'll be uploading that to Luis and I'll CC you into the uh, message. Um, but it became apparent to me while I was doing that that, man, your program, you've got to be really proud of yourself, James, for what you've done there. I mean, that woman's life has changed. She looks fantastic. She took 17 centimetres, 13 centimetres off her waist in the first little bit. Um, you know, her relationship with her husband and son has changed dramatically. She's empowered. She's fitter, all these things. And it's because you're a program and I just, you need to, I want to say to you, man, you've fucking done a great job. It changes people's lives and then it changes the lives of those around them, like husband, son in this case, then her outer circle of friends and family and then her work colleagues. It's a great program. Really be proud of yourself. So I thought that was just a nice message to get and I got that exactly, when did I get that? I got that three hours ago, which was nice. Um, And so I, I want to just convey to you, how, you know, high, profound, high performers are naturally very functional when they drink, right? They drink alcohol and they perform pretty well. But those of you who are smart enough, smart enough to realize that being alcohol-free, you're able to generate so much more from yourself, are going to enjoy all of the beautiful benefits that come from living an alcohol-free lifestyle. And I'm seeing here you know, people sharing with me that they're business owners or they're in a top performing job. And when I asked the question earlier, let me just look here. You guys said that you're operating at a six out of 10, a three out of 10, a three out of 10, a four out of 10, a five, a six. Nobody said eight. And I get it. I've been there. I remember when I was drinking, I wasn't an alcoholic, but I was just drinking the way that society says to drink. And I was just dragging my ass. Let me share the screen again. Let me show you. I got the before and after photo. Here's me dragging my ass, lethargic, tired, not really doing well, just kind of like a five out of 10, just blah. And then as soon as I gave up the alcohol, everything changed. That's when I got my dream job hosting Sports Center on ESPN and I got to interview Magic Johnson and I started an e-commerce business Entrepreneur Magazine featured me in an article about how I built a million-dollar business in 12 months, got to be acquaintances with kind of cool people, mentor 
uh, mentored a two-time Oscar winner on how to quit alcohol, got on TV shows. I mean, this stuff might not impress you. Maybe this has got nothing to do with you. The point I'm just trying to make is that as soon as I went alcohol-free, I just had an explosion in clarity and focus and energy, and things just started to happen. Investor, man, I didn't know how to invest. I had no idea. Now I'm an investor in 12 companies, Pier One, Radio Shack, Dress Barn, Steinmark, Linens and Things, Mentor Box, Farmers Guy. Look, this is not about me, right? I'm, I don't want you to think this is just like, oh, let's celebrate James. I want you to put yourself in the situation where you are consistently enjoying an alcohol-free lifestyle, and it is beautiful, and it's amazing. And I wasn't gonna, I, I wasn't gonna do this today. I was gonna leave it until tomorrow. But I, I want to. I'm, I'm feeling like there's probably going to be a desire amongst some of you, not all of you, maybe a few of you, who um, maybe want to go a little deeper or a lot deeper and get the benefit of living an alcohol-free lifestyle and the opportunity to, to join us in our Project 90 program. So I'm going to go a little bit off script and I'll just share with you a little bit about what that is and then I'll give you an opportunity before we jump off this call. I'll be on the call for another 40 minutes. For some of you, not all of you, for some of you to enroll with me now on this call. But just I, I get a lot of questions all the time about P90. So why don't I just do a quick little overview of it now? I was going to do it tomorrow, but um, given we're talking about leaving all this money on the table and many of you have shared that you're at a four or five out of ten, I think I think we should just give you a, a quick two-minute overview. So uh, we've gone through the ineffective ways, okay? AA, treatment centres, trying to do it on your own, willpower, motivation, moderation. This stuff is just ineffective. You know that or you wouldn't be on the call with me. If you could quit drinking on your own, you would have. You haven't, so you can't, and that's why you're here, most likely. You probably don't want to go to an AA meeting. I'm almost certain you don't want to spend $180,000 on an inpatient treatment centre. Uh, try to do it on your own is pretty lonely and uh, tough and challenging, and you're using willpower, and it just doesn't work. The Project 90 process that we have is uh, coaching, appropriate accountability, appropriate accountability, appropriate community, uh, making it as easy and fun as possible, and then having skin in the game, which quite frankly is investing in yourself, okay? So coaching is you have a mentor, someone who's many years alcohol-free can show you the way. Michael Jordan, the great basketballer, had three mentors most of the time. He had Phil Jackson, who was his coach, he had his mind coach, and then he had his gym coach. Uh, Oprah, uh, Ellen DeGeneres had Oprah Winfrey. Um, uh, Denzel Washington had Sidney Poitier. These are famous kind of mentor mentees. A coach can identify your blind spots, show you where you're doing something wrong, and really speed up your success. Okay, it can save you a decade. Like I, I can literally save you a decade of frustration in 90 days if you just surrender to letting a coach coach you. Um, appropriate accountability. Now, what the, what the accountability that doesn't work is, oh, I'm going to get my wife to hold me accountable. Oh, I'm going to get my husband. Oh, my friend and I are going to do it together. Well, that's cute and that's nice, but I can tell you from experience, it's also incredibly ineffective. Possible, it could work, not probable, unlikely. Okay, so appropriate accountability comes from like-minded people, people like who are live on this call now and watching the replay all over the world, people who are entrepreneurs, business owners, high performers, folks who are making hundreds of thousands of dollars already or close to it, and they've got struggles, struggles in their marriage or their relationship. They're not as present with their kids. They're not as healthy, and time is ticking away. I'm 45, and I'm like, whoa. I'm halfway done if I'm, you know, if I get to 90. But if you're in your 50, 40s, late 40s, 50s, early 60s, you know that the clock is ticking. We've got one known shot at this. So appropriate accountability is having the accountability of a like-minded community, other folks who are supporting you along the way. And that's also the community, right, the community. The reason why I stopped well, not stopped, but the reason why I, I um, slowed down, I guess, on 
promoting or, or creating products or programs to help everyone with their drinking and instead focused on high performers like entrepreneurs and business owners was because entrepreneurs and business owners, quite frankly, have so much to gain and so much to lose depending on whether they're, they're, they're not drinking or they're drinking. And a lot of times people who have a business or a lot of times people who are in sales, they understand, like they just get that if they are on the top of their game, they can make profound, a profound impact in their business, in their job, in their life, in their marriage, in their relationship with their kids. I can't help everyone and Project 90 is not for everyone. It's for, it's for a select group of people. And I deliberately curate the people who I let in, entrepreneurs, business owners, realtors, investors, so everyone feels comfortable and supported and happy and people can relate because chances are if you guys go to an AA meeting, you're going to hear and be around people like this and you you just won't be able to relate. Has anyone actually been to an AA meeting? Like it, it's pretty awful. And I, I mean, I went just out of curiosity. I was there to, to support my friend and uh, it was awful. I couldn't relate. Some of the stories I heard were just devastating. I mean, my heart goes out to them, but at the same time, I can't relate. But put me in a room of other like-minded people with similar outlooks, similar situations, and then I share my story and all of a sudden I go, oh, wow, everyone here gets me. Everyone's nodding. Go, yep, I get that. Yeah, I get that. So that's what I mean by uh, appropriate uh, account, uh, accountability and appropriate community. Uh, ease and fun. This is not easy and this is not fun. Right? As a, what I mean by that is if, if you're watching the screen, an AA meeting is not easy and not fun. But I make uh, my community as easy as possible and as fun as possible. Why? Well, because I like to have a fun I like to be fun <laughs> and because I, I've studied the neuroscience and the most effective way to learn anything and to step into it and to learn it is to make it fun because if it's hard, you're, you're going to feel like you're in a prison and what do prisoners want to do? They want to break out of prison. That's why people who do a 30-day challenge are like, I'm going to do a 30-day challenge and they get to day 30 and they go and celebrate with a drink because they felt like they were in a prison all of this time. But we rewire your brain so you don't feel like you're in a prison. We make you feel like you're in heaven. It's heaven to be alcohol-free. It's heaven. This is amazing. I'm loving this. As opposed to, oh, I've only got a few, few more days of this 90-day challenge and then I can start drinking again. No. That's why I make it easy and fun because I, if I can rewire your brain, if I can create new stimuli, in your brain, if you can get around other like-minded people who are celebrating their successes and their entrepreneurs and business owners who are generating hundreds of thousands of dollars and they have, and you can relate to them, you're going to feel inspired to stay on the path. So when you do have like a little slip up feeling like, oh, I could really do it with a drink, you're in an amazing community of high performers who are there to support you. Uh, skin in the game, that is investing in yourself. It's, it's putting your money where your mouth is because if you're not invested in yourself, then you're not really taking action. Let me tell you something. There are free videos on YouTube that you can go and watch now that will teach you how to quit drinking. But will you do anything about that? Will you actually quit drinking? Probably not. There are videos, there are hours and hours and hours of videos from Warren Buffett, the world's greatest investor, on how to invest and how to be a successful investor. They're free. You don't have to spend money on it. You may have watched some of them, but have you done anything about it? Have you actually followed what Warren Buffett says to do? Probably not. But I guarantee you this, if you invested $10,000, $20,000, or rather, let me say that, if there was an opportunity to sit down with Warren Buffett for one hour or have, or have a dinner or a lunch and it was $20,000, you might invest that $20,000 and you would be listening intently to the very thing that he was going to share with you. And whatever he shared with you, I guarantee you would go out and you would implement and execute it, even if the very thing he told you at that dinner was exactly the same thing that he said on a YouTube video. The difference is when you got it for free, you didn't value it, but when you invested in yourself, you valued it, and then you took action. That's the difference. So just to summarise why the process works, 
It's coaching, it's appropriate accountability, it's appropriate community, it's ease and fun, it's skin in the game, okay? Now, it's not, like I said, it's not for everybody. It's for high performers who are functional, but like I said before, they're smart enough to realize and they're experienced to know that they're not at their best at the moment and they know that they can be at their best. So alcohol is stopping you from being your best, I know, because I asked you, what is your alcohol drinking, you know, how do you feel? How effective are you? And you said five, six out of 10, four out of 10. Someone said two. Robert said that his drinking is costing about $180,000 a year. Someone else shared their drinking, their, their numbers, 400,000. We had 400,000 pounds. We had 75,000. I mean, it's kind of frightening. It's frightening. So I, I want to do, I want to, look, I'm going to make an offer on, Saturday, tomorrow and Saturday, like I said, but I'd, what I'd like to do now, because I'm sensing based on what I read and I'll just, just go with it, is that I want to I want to um, I want to give 10 of you an opportunity to get in um, to be like, it's kind of like a first come, first serve kind of thing. So if you want to join Project 90, I'll make it attractive for you to join uh, in the next let's say 32 minutes from now because I'm going to go here and well actually 40 minutes so we'll put a timer on the clock so just so full disclosure project 90 is $7,500 to do it okay that's what people invest in to do project 90 to get the coaching uh for this call only and you can check with me I'm not going to make this offer again tomorrow or the next day but for this call only and for the next 30 minutes I'm happy to have you come in at 5k Okay, it'd be $5,000, American dollars. If you're in Australia, it's American dollars. I don't change it to, to Australian dollars. Um, so I'm going to put a uh, – if you guys want to do, take me up on that opportunity and you just want to go in, and, again, this might be just for a few of you. It could be for two or three of you. It might be for five. I don't know. We'll see. But for the next 30 minutes, if you want to take advantage of that, uh, like I said, it's usually $7,500. i will let you join for 5000 um, if you want to be in, you can just send me a text message and at the end of this call, I'll call you directly and, and we'll enroll you. So let me just type in my number here. I'll give you my personal mobile phone, but what I, inv- what I asked you to do, or what I must you to do is just keep it to yourself, okay? Like I'm sure you will. I'm not going to ask you what not to do. I'm only going to ask you what to do. So if I share my mobile phone number with you, will you please just keep it to yourself? That's just my request. Is that fair? I'm hoping that's fair. Uh, if you would like to join, um, that offer is good for 30 minutes. I'll put a timer on here. Well, actually, I'll put the timer on once I put my number here. Let me just um, put a slide here, and then I'm going to take Q&A. Please start giving me questions, Q&A. I am here to serve you for the next um, 35 minutes, but let me just put a slide in here, and I'll give you my number, and then we can keep going here. So, okay, I'm going to share my screen. Here it is. And from the moment I share it on my screen, I'm going to put the timer on. There we go. So we're on the clock. That's my mobile phone number. You can just type, you can send me a text that says uh, in and then put your name there so I know who it is. And then I will phone you directly after I get off this call and we'll enroll you into Project 90. There we go. All right, let's, uh, let's do some questions. Who would like to ask me any questions about anything? I am here for you. Uh, let's have a look here. We've got some questions. Someone's raising their hand. Can you advise price in uh, pounds? Yeah, so it's whatever $5,000 is USD in pounds. Let's have a look in British sterling. It seems like at the moment it'd be about 3,561 pounds. So 3,500 pounds. Yeah. Uh, thanks for the question. Who'd like to ask me? Oh, here's a question. Okay, what if drinking with clients makes me money? Well, here's the thing. Is drink, does drinking with clients make you money or does being with clients having a good time make you money and you just happen to be drinking? So I, I would invite you to really look at that. If, if networking and connection and, and taking and, and, and entertaining clients is a big part of your um, big part of your business, I get it, but guess what? I've gone to Las Vegas. I've gone to Las Vegas and danced on tables before while being alcohol free, <laughs> like the den of inequity. I've been to the Playboy Mansion with Hugh Hefner before he passed and Pamela Anderson 
and Owen Wilson and Stone Cold Steve Austin, the wrestler. <laughs> I've been to the uh, Golden Globe Awards with uh, Elon Musk. I've had a 10-minute conversation about books with Elon Musk. No alcohol required. There we go. This is at the Golden Globe Awards uh, after party. It's like three big parties. This is before the whole Weinstein scandal happened. There was a Weinstein after party. So I was at the Weinstein company's party and, and Elon Musk was there and we got to chatting for what his favorite books were and um, a couple of mutual friends that we had. No alcohol required. This is Mark Cuban. This is at a Super Bowl party. So I was at the Super Bowl in, I think this was in Indianapolis. Uh, massive party. I think it was the Maxim Magazine party the night before the Super Bowl. And again, he was actually, he was at the bar getting a drink and I was drinking soda water ice and a piece of lime. Do I really need alcohol in order to network with these guys in order to do business? Absolutely not. Here's um, uh, Hugh Hefner. That's in his library in the Playboy Mansion. Um, you know, den of inequity. Everyone thinks there's a you know, massive orgy going on in the grotto and there's alcohol and hedonism going on. He doesn't drink. I'm not sure how long he didn't drink for, but I helped him with that. And I was there. I didn't drink. So you don't need alcohol to network. Um, uh, so I hope that, hope that was uh, helpful. Sherry asked, how intensive, how much time, et cetera, in Project 90? Yeah, great question. Um, why don't I play a video, Sherry? I know you said yesterday I think the, the noise was a bit too loud, but I'll try and turn it down. Um, why don't I just play a video? There's a woman called uh, Rebecca who just graduated recently, and she actually explains it a little bit better than what I might. Why don't I just play that for you? And then if you've got questions after that, I'll, I'll try to answer them. For, I'm sure you will, and I'll answer them for you. So let me just share the screen here. This is Becky uh, Quinn. Let me just play her. Hi, I'm Becky Quinlan. I live in Milford, Michigan. I am a 51-year-old marketing director for a nationwide insurance company, and I've just completed Project 90. I'm on 92 days alcohol-free, and um, I just wanted to give you a little bit of information around the experience and if you're considering it. Um, I was unsure of what to do, but I chose to commit to Project 90 after having talked to um, Roseanne. And I didn't know really what kind of other individuals I would meet. Uh, what I, whom I ended up meeting were a group of people with a like mindset to mine, like um, circumstances in life, like age groups, um, professionals who were reconsidering their relationship with alcohol, but also other upgrades in their life. Um, I had been to other types of programs in the past. I had been to other therapy sessions. Didn't know if this was going to be something that was another, like, we all sit around and pour our hearts out kind of scenario. But what it turned out to be was a group of people who really wanted upgrades in their life um, around all kinds of different things. It'd be their family or professional or personal or health. And people talked about it um, on a regular basis. Uh, I was held accountable in the first probably 30 days to the program because of the investment. Um, it, you know, it's a, it's a sizable investment. And I think I might have bailed if, if I hadn't said to myself, I paid this money, like I'm going to do this. So it held me in. And then once I kind of got through the first little bit, I was able to start to really understand the benefits of having changed the relationship with alcohol. Um, I didn't know if I could do it either, uh, but I thought, okay, I'm going to commit. I followed the instructions from the materials to dedicate and commit and make the investment uh, for myself. And it was, it was great time and money spent, um, but, uh, both of which are, are finite resources for everybody. Uh, so I, I can appreciate the, the questioning around it. Um, but I do, I do believe that the program is extremely well run. It's, it's comprehensive, keeps you accountable. Um, my coach was Kevin. He showed up on time, ready to go every time with personalized attention to me and my scenarios uh, every week. And I found it extremely helpful. 
So if you're wondering if it might be for you, um, I recommend having further conversations about it. It was it was a great it was great time and money well spent. All right. So just uh, I'm not sure if that was I hope that was helpful, Sherry. But just to go over it, you'll. Um, there are six available coaching calls per week. Uh, you must commit to attending only one of those, but you can attend all six if you want. Um, we have it on different day. Have the calls on different days and different um, time zones. So depending on if you work or you don't work, or you know it's, you can't make a call, there's always a call available. Uh, you'll have uh, um, uh, when you when you enroll, you have an onboarding call with our top coach Victoria, who you may have met yesterday on the call, who's incredible, and she's going to walk you through our whole process. We're going to give you the strategy for you to rewire your brain over the 90 days. We're going to um, introduce you over the first week or so to the other members. Some of them will be on day 27 or day 50 or day 60. There'll be other people who will be on day one just like you. Um, so you'll be mi mixed and matched with people who are a little bit further along the journey, and then as you move along, you then become the source of inspiration for other people who are just joining. Um, you get a video, a little five-minute video, a training video that I've pre-recorded every single day for 90 days. So each day I will deliver to your inbox a new piece of training, which is going to help you to stay focused and to rewire your brain around the alcohol. We do fun little challenges. Um, and we have, a, a, we have a, a, a phone app where you can get 24 hours a day, seven day a week support. I've kind of designed it in a way where it's 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 – it's very challenging not to be able to get support in the moment. So even if it's a Tuesday night and you're doing really well and you're like, oh, I kind of want to drink, there's a way there for you to speak to a coach, to speak to the other members, and we, we help you through that. Um, this is not just about quitting drinking, I should say. It's about uh, what, can we, what can we create in your life over the next 90 days by quitting drinking? And when you get to 90, the idea is not that, oh, well, that was fun. I did 90 days and now it's over. No, the idea is that you now have the power to choose, which means, oh, I'm going to go six months, a year, two years, five years. I'm never going to drink again. And now all of a sudden you're feeling better, sleeping better. You're feeling incredible. Uh, and life is just better. So I hope that was helpful. Uh, did that answer your question, Sherry? So what else could you do? If you were alcohol free, let's hear from some people. What are some other things you would do if you were alcohol free? Would you travel? Would you invest in another person? Would you hire someone in your business? Would you fire someone in your business if you were alcohol free? Would you get a new job? Would you quit? Would you write a book? What are some of the things you've always been wanting to do but you haven't done because the mediocrity of life has got you and it's dragged you down? What are some of those things? I would love to uh, love to hear from you. If you want to just type it into the little chat box there, uh, that would be awesome. And let's just, while we're waiting for some of those to come in, let's just, uh, if you want to get some more details on Project 90, let me just give you a little link here. You can always go to, uh, I'll put it in the chat, alcoholfreelifestyle.com forward slash apply. And I'll play this little video here for you, which just shows you a little bit more about alcohol. So what will your experience feel like when you join us in our 90-day quit drinking program? My happiness level is just so much higher than it was before. <laughs> You'll be joining an exclusive club, and we're going to take care of you in ways that you can't even imagine. You guys truly are a gift from God. You and Kevin, my coach, have been absolutely fantastic. You may well have saved my life, so thank you for that. I didn't realize that I could feel so fabulous in my life at this age. You'll be supported by a group of peers who you look up to, admire, learn from, and it's a really fun, supportive community. It was actually fun because of the people that were involved in the group. It was very uh, you know, beneficial and it was great. And everyone is just very supportive, no judgment. Well, I met some really great people I, I now call my friends. I didn't feel like I was out there on my own doing it. It just felt lighter. It felt fun and exciting and lighter. You'll be given access to the latest research, the best knowledge, cutting-edge habits, 
to ensure that you go alcohol-free and remain so for as long as you choose. You'll also speak to your own dedicated one-on-one -on -one coach, someone who hasn't drunk in at least a decade and who specializes in helping people just like you quit drinking and stay quit. It's perfectly normal if you feel a little scared, if you're not sure that you'll be able to actually do this. All of the members who've come before you have felt that way. I was scared. It seems scary. It seems like you're making this big leap. You think there's never a right time to do it, but there is. And that's the feeling that you get right before it feels really, really good. I feel great. I've lost weight. My skin looks great. I love who I am. I love who I put myself out there in the world with my family, friends, work. When you get into it, you realize you're actually doing the best thing you can for yourself. For me, it has been just a magnificent experience and everything just keeps getting better. The work you're doing is absolutely amazing. You're truly saving lives. I have no intention of ever drinking again. Looking forward just to continue success in other areas of my life. I have tears in my eyes. I'm almost just thinking about it. It is worth it. It's worth it. And you can do it. If you're ready to do it, it's worth it. Just take the leap. <laughs> so looking forward to helping you in our 90-day program. There's a guy here, Tim, as well. He figured out his drinking was costing him a quarter of a million dollars a year, which is insanity to me. But let's have a have a look. Your drinking was costing you a quarter of a million dollars a year. Absolutely. Easy. I, my name is Tim, and I'm 118 days alcohol free. I uh, run my own business. I specialize in helping commercial real estate investors with loans to acquire income producing property and with that comes a lot of cocktail hours i probably drank a lot more during work partaking in those happy hours and it was just getting a little much i was irritable the next day i probably had missed opportunities with prospects trying to turn them clients and you know hangovers don't allow a lot of time to think and so without that clarity i just i missed out on probably a good chunk of revenue i was dealing with anxiety and stress drinking. It was no good. It just drug me down. This isn't something I can go at it alone. What do you estimate your drinking was costing you and lost opportunities? Uh, easily a quarter million dollars at a minimum. I joined Project 90 and I'm set this year to hit what I made last year in only three short months of 2020. I have to attribute that to alcohol free in this group. What's so great about your group is you find people that are all higher functioning and entrepreneurs and all the good stuff that comes with oh, we're, we're all struggling with the same thing. It's very safe. And for my wife and I, it's huge. She sees that I think more clearly. She has seen my anxiety drop. I mean, I was only 30 days in your program and she just looked at me and she didn't know it on day 30. And she said, I got to tell you, I haven't experienced you like this the whole time I've been dating you. She said, you're just so calm. And I'm thinking, I'm always calm. What are you talking about? And that's a bit of the oblivion when you have alcohol in your life. Anybody out there listening, in the first few weeks, you're going to go through with what you do. And it just becomes so easy because everybody wants to work together. And that's what makes it great. And your program was just a slam dunk. And it made so much sense. So just a couple of things of what we've got coming up in the next couple of days. Um, let me just go over the schedule. So tomorrow we're going to be talking about how to reduce or eliminate cravings. So if you have cravings and you can't curb them and you've tried willpower and motivation, you've tried all of that kind of stuff, then tomorrow we're going to go over that. We're going to coach you uh, and show you how to reduce or eliminate the cravings. Uh, and then on day five on Saturday, which is a little bit earlier, an hour earlier at 10 a.m., we're going to put it all together. We're going to summarize everything. Uh, I'm going to make the official offer to people. I'm expecting that we're probably going to have two or even three times as many people on the call on Saturday because it's a little bit easier for people to make the weekend. It's a little bit more challenging for folks who are coming during the, during the week. Um, we've had about... Uh, probably 700 views of this particular call now, either live or on the replay. Um, so I'm expecting probably a few hundred people, maybe 400 people on, on Saturday. We'll see how we go. Uh, and you'll see, like you'll see tomorrow and you'll see on Saturday, um, I'll be outlining the secret formula. Now, some of you or many of you will choose to take the formula and just go and do it yourself. And I wish you all the best of luck. I hope, I hope that it works out for you. Um, some of you, like I said, it's not for everyone, but some of you will want to work with me and get some additional support and some additional coaching and join our other um, community members. And that's great. And then we can have a, 
there'll be an opportunity for you to enroll on on Saturday and we will begin. Um, the summer, the American summer is coming up. It starts June, well, actually in Australia, the summer starts June. I'm so sorry. In, in Australia, the winter starts on June 1. So I always think that the summer starts on June 1 in the Northern Hemisphere. So I've actually got this cool group called the Summer of 2022 group that we're going to be um, having. So imagine going through the entire summer alcohol-free and loving it. That's what's going to be happening. And loving it means you'll get to look like these folks, hopefully, big smiles, enjoying yourself, feeling vibrant and healthy. Maybe you like to go surfing or ride a bike. Uh, maybe you want to go traveling. It's kind of opening up a bit of the world now, aren't they? Um, traveling a bit more domestic USA, maybe from the UK. I think they're letting people go over to Europe again now. I'm going to uh, – Tulum, Mexico tomorrow. I'm in Puerto Rico at the moment in Old San Juan. I've been in, I was in Brisbane, Australia for, for the COVID lockdown for about 18 months. And then I was in Miami, Florida, and now uh, Old San Juan, Puerto Rico. And tomorrow I'm going to Tulum, Mexico, because I just love to travel. And then after that, I think I'm going to go to Sedona and uh, in Arizona and go and see uh, my, uh, one of my former coaches, uh, one of our coaches in Project 90, who just left to go and do his own thing. He's got a place in Montana. I'm going to go and visit him. And then after that, I'll, I'll stop by Los Angeles. And then I think I'm going to go to Bali, Indonesia, um, and travel. And then I'll go back and um, back to my partner, Juliana, and our seven-year-old waiting patiently back in Australia. Um, and, uh, yeah, so, you know, energy, clarity, focus, travel, um, what's possible, creation, as opposed to living a life of dragging yourself, not making deals, not doing business. Oh, that's the other thing. I, in, I invested in another business um, while I was here, which is really fun, and I've just started consulting to businesses uh, on how to uh, either take their products online or improve their businesses online. Uh, which is another fun little thing. So I just love being an entrepreneur. I'm one of those like mad scientists who like to likes to um, keep, um, you know, keep my finger in lots of entrepreneurial pies, so to speak. Uh, hi, uh, hi James. Hi Helen. Hi Christy. Hi Ben. Hi John. Hi Lind. Hi Michael. Hi Pete. Hey Alicia. Hey Chris. Hi James. Lots of people still on the call here. Anyone got a question? Feel free to ask the question. If you guys got the schedule, you've got the schedule now for the coming days. Uh, let me just share my screen again. Uh, let's do a little recap on the last couple of days. Uh, we talked about, what did we talk about? We talked about smiling assassins, the waiter and the waitress who greets you. And smiles. Can I get you a glass of attractively packaged poison? It's the people at the bar who greet you. Hey, how you doing? We talked about being a form of social control, how marketers trick us into believing that drinking creates romance and that drinking creates bond and connection with your mates and your friends and that if you drink champagne, you're suave and elegant and sophisticated. The truth is, is that alcohol is a poison and toxic to the body takes seven to 10 days in most cases for the body to rid itself of all the toxins. It raises the risk of breast cancer in women and it lowers testosterone levels in men and it can cause sexual dysfunction, kills your brain cells, restricts brain growth, leads to a leaky gut, leaky gut gives you a fatty liver, underperforming kidneys and high blood pressure. Uh, one beer is, calories from a beer is the same as having a slice of pizza, Having a glass of wine is the same as eating a chocolate donut. Uh, really, really bad for your skin. Puts on weight, disrupts your skin, looks nasty. And yesterday we went over um, the importance of stop trying to quit alcohol and instead tell yourself what you will do. So that means focusing on I easily only drink water, ice, and a piece of lime, uh, I easily only drink soda water. I easily drink my sparkling water. I love drinking my sparkling water. You just basically tell yourself what you will do as opposed to what you will not do. Um, so, yeah, just for those folks who have texted, thank you so much. I'll, I'll call you back as soon as I get off this call. 
Um, I promised that I would make it available now for 30 minutes and we've been going exactly 23 minutes and 54 seconds. So another six minutes and we'll um, take that offer away. So it's $7,500 normally to join or enroll in Project 90. If you're on this call, uh, like I said, I'll let the first 10 come in uh, at that 5K. Uh, and, uh, yeah, this won't, this offer won't be made tomorrow or the next day. So it's good for another five and a half minutes. Um, going back to sharing the screen here, we've got um, designing your environment. We talked about removing the visual cues of alcohol and replacing them with the visual cues of health and vitality. James Clear, who wrote the book Atomic Habits, um, talked about removing things in your room which uh, make you think about alcohol, which increases the likelihood you're going to drink alcohol, including wine glasses and corkscrews, uh, liquor cabinets, and instead replacing your home with lots of great things. See on the background here, I'm staying in a home, but I've, got, I've strategically got a big plant there because um, it reminds me of health and vitality. Um, flowers, uh, even if you're a man, buy yourself a bouquet of flowers. Uh, these kind of things, re removing visual signs of unhealthy type things and replacing them with very healthy can be incredibly beneficial. Um, yesterday, we talked about how to have fun and socialize alcohol free. We had Coach Victoria on. And we talked about the latest neuroscience that says that influencing people comes down to 7% spoken words and only, um, sorry, only 77% spoken words, but it's really 93% body language and how you say it. So when you are out with friends or networking, you want to take on the persona of like, I'm cool, I'm suave. Yeah, I'm alcohol free. Of course, I'm alcohol free. What's the big deal? And then it doesn't become a big deal. But it's only when you're apologizing and saying, gee, shock, sorry, do you suddenly start to create an idea that, um, you know, there's something wrong and that your friends are thinking, well, there's something wrong with you. Well, wow, you really are an alcoholic. Go on, just have one and so forth. Uh, let's share the screen here again. Here we go. Uh, sparkling water. Here are some, when people say, would you like a drink? You just say, yeah, I'd love some sparkling water. Thank you. No, I'm not drinking at the moment. I'm good with water for now. Thank you. You can be playful about living alcohol-free. Yeah, I'm going to get drunk on this water tonight. Watch out. I'm going to swing from the rafters. I'm going to go crazy on this soda water. Uh, i got to get up early in the morning. I'm the designated driver. I'm taking a break from alcohol for a while. Uh, and the big secret we revealed, too, was that nobody really cares that much that you don't drink. If you'd like to get more details, you can go to alcoholfreelifestyle.com, apply. I will just stick the link in the chat here. And uh, there's a whole lot of success stories down here. If you want to just get motivated by people who are alcohol-free, I encourage you to watch one of these videos here. It's kind of exciting. Nope, that's not right. Let's try that. I am one year alcohol-free, 365 days. Had to get slightly smaller glasses because of all of the loss of puffiness in my cheeks. I lost some weight. I'm wavering around the 20 pound mark and everybody compliments me on that. Oh, well, you look like you've lost weight. And some of them kid me about being skinny. I would basically look forward to the end of the day when I would uh, head over to my local pub. As far as what was I drinking? Coors Light, um, whiskey, Did, didn't sleep well, wasn't very clear headed, uh, did not look forward to getting up in the morning and getting going. I was really feeling like I was not taking advantage of my abilities and that um, alcohol was really holding me back. I felt alone. I was by myself in this predicament. And I found you and reached out to you and I'm glad that you convinced me that day a year ago that uh, it's time to make a change. It was nice to meet the group that you had assembled that were people like me, entrepreneurs, professionals and so on that felt the same way, that they were somehow limiting themselves by their use of alcohol. And, um, and so it was nice to not be alone. Fear is totally understandable based on our kind of our cultural conditioning. And I had all those fears going into it because it was part of my identity, right? Amongst my family and friends. At first they were, of course, oh, come on, you know, just have one. And they would try to encourage me and called me some colorful names, just 
having fun with it and so on. But, you know, I was able to kind of stick through that. That, that all worked out fine. After a week or two of doing this, now my one of one of my bartender friends started calling me the soda crayon man. At this point, I'm getting up at around 4.30 every morning and fitting in some stretching and some movement and some meditation. And three times a week, I fit in some basketball. Improve my relationships, uh, especially with my uh, my children and my 15-year-old son who lives here with me. And that has uh, worked out great. Uh, all, of- all right. So thanks so much for joining. Thanks for being on the call here. It was wonderful to have you. And I'll see you guys tomorrow on day four. Our timer has stopped. Congratulations to those who just texted me. I'm going to be calling you right now. And for you guys, for the remaining guys, I will see you on tomorrow's call. See you then. Bye. Thanks for listening to the Alcohol Free Lifestyle Podcast. I want to load you up with some free stuff right now. So if you want to go to jameswanick.com slash guide, I will send you my Quit Alcohol Guide, which has helped six-figure entrepreneurs and top professionals reduce or quit drinking. You can also text the word quit guide to the number 44222 if you're in the US, of course. It doesn't really work anywhere outside of the US. But if you're in the US on your mobile phone and you'd like that guide, text the word quit guide to the number 44222 or you can go to jameswanick.com slash guide. If you'd like to schedule a free 15-minute call with one of my top coaches, just an exploratory call to see if or how we can help you, then you can go to jameswanick.com slash schedule, or you can text the word project90 to the number 44222 if you're listening in the US on a mobile phone. That's jameswanick.com slash schedule, or you can text the word project90, that's one word, project90, to the number 44222. Feel free to send me a direct message over on my Instagram account, which is at James Swanick. You can also watch video episodes of this podcast and a series of other educational videos on my YouTube channel, which is James Swanick One, or you can direct message me on Facebook at James Swanick Official. And finally, a request. Would you please now write a short review of the podcast inside of the Apple Podcast app on your phone or on iTunes on your desktop? Computer. Would you please give the show five stars and write a quick one or two sentence review? This will help the show get in front of even more listeners, potentially transforming someone's life. You can rate and review the show inside of your Apple podcast app on your phone or over on iTunes on your desktop. Thank you so much and I'll catch you next time. <laughs>